Bubbles, do you read me? App ID, check. Client key, check. Client secret, check. Redirect URI, check. Let's log in. What's up everyone and welcome to another video. Before we hit the computer and start coding, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like if you're enjoying the content, and drop a comment, let me know what you wanna see coded up next. In this video, we are implementing the login kit for our TikTok app. In a previous video, we went over how to create a TikTok app, so if you missed that, go check it out. When we implement the login kit for our TikTok app, just like you can implement login functionality with Facebook by adding a login with Facebook button, the login kit allows you to implement a login with TikTok button on your app. As always, links will be in the description below to things like the GitHub repository, and I will see you on the computer. Welcome to another video where we're implementing the TikTok API login kit so we can get access tokens for a user. This will allow us to do things like grab the user's information, their video count, their follower count, who they're following, metadata on their videos, as well as we can even post content on their behalf. But all that is for a future video. In this video, we're just gonna be focusing on logging the user in and getting an access token. Let's get into it. In our last video, we created our app. Here it is, our Bubbles app on developers.tiktok.com. We got our app details, our ID, our key, our secret, and then I filled out our icon, our name, category, description, all that stuff. And then I went ahead and submitted it for review. It did take quite a bit of back and forth with them on this, uh, but I finally was eventually able to get them to make my app live in production, which is required to actually use the API in any capacity. So until it's in production, you really can't do anything. But we're live in production, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the login kit. Over here on the left side, under products, just click add product. You find the product you want, and we want the login kit, so we click add. I've already added it, and it shows up right over here in the left-hand column under products. If you click on it, it will bring you to the settings for that product. Now for the login kit, it requires a redirect URI. What does this mean? Well, the URI here that we provide, which is gonna be my server, blog code, our TikTok API folder, and then I'm gonna create a login.php file. This URI right here is where TikTok will redirect the user once they have authorized our app. So what's gonna happen is you're going to add a button on your website, a continue with TikTok button. Over here in the design guidelines, you can see exactly how you're supposed to style up the button, the different colors, the backgrounds, and whatnot. But you're gonna implement this button on our website and then that button will take the user to TikTok and it will basically ask the user, do you approve this app to get uh, information on your behalf? And if the user says yes, they will be redirected back to your website, the redirectory you have specified right here. TikTok provides us with a code to this redirectory. It will append on uh, like a code equals one, two, three, something when they redirect them back to our website. And we will exchange that code for a access token, which is the purpose of this video. Over on my website, my TikTok API folder, I have an index.php file and it has our button right here and it doesn't do anything right now because we need to implement the functionality. So if we hop back over to our TikTok for developers, the API, we can head over to the login kit for web and here's the prerequisites. So we've registered our app, we've configured our redirect URI, and we can keep scrolling down here and this is what we need to implement right here. An href that contains the correct URL to TikTok with all of the parameters that they require in order to authorize our app with that user. So scrolling down a little bit farther, we can see the configure redirect URI here. Uh, they give you some details on what your URI can and cannot have. For instance, correct, you need the HTTPS. You can't just have the dev dot example, the subdomain. URI must be static. Uh, parameters will be denied. So you can't pass in, you know, question mark ID equals one. And you cannot include fragments. So hashtags, not valid. All right, so the integration guide, we need to have an href with the correct URI that has all the parameters TikTok's gonna require. And those parameters are right down here. In our URI, we need our client key, we need a scope, redirect URI, a state, and a response type. So it looks something like this. TikTok.com, version two auth, authorize, and then here's the query parameters. Client key, response type, and so on. Combining this URL with the query parameters right here, will be placed back here in the href for the server endpoint OAuth. Now to make implementing this a lot easier, I have created a TikTok API PHP SDK over here on GitHub. It'll make talking to the TikTok API a lot easier for you. We're going to begin over at the wiki. We're gonna click on our endpoints access tokens and we're gonna look for our TikTok login kit dialog right here. So this is basically everything you're seeing over here in the docs, the parameters and the query string. All you have to do is pass along the parameters and the SDK will take care of the rest for you. It will generate the authentication URL for you as long as you specify the correct parameters. Over on my website here, I have an index.php file 
that looks like this. We have our require once, our defines, our require once, uh, TikTok, here's the API PHP SDK, which I've checked out into that folder, and we just require the auto load so it all gets loaded for us. Now, like I said, the button doesn't work right now because it's just set to an empty string, the authentication URL. Here's we have to do some implementation with the SDK. So we're going to begin up here with our very first require, our defines.php file. Because we're going to be making a lot of these videos, we're going to want to reuse our defines, which are like our client key, our client secret, and so on. So we're going to put those creds in a separate file. So I have my defines file right here. So for our defines at top, we're to the app details. We're going to copy the client key here. Do a little show on that. Copy that, paste that right here. Same for our client secret, show that. And then we have our redirect theory under our login kit. This has to match or it won't work. So our redirect theory right there. And those are the three things we need from our app details to exchange a code for an access token. So over on our index file here, we can get rid of our authentication URL being an empty string. And now we have access to our defines and we have required our TikTok uh, API PHP SDK as well. So we're ready for use with that. We're going to hop over to the TikTok API PHP SDK wiki, the access tokens endpoint, and our TikTok login kit dialog. We're going to copy this code right here. We're going to paste that right after our require. So here we have our using our authentication class. Then we set up our authentication. Uh, by instantiating a new authentication class. And here's where we specify our defines we just set. So our client key, that, our client secret, just like that, our redirect theory, replace that there, and then we define our scopes. Now the scopes, they come from our app as well. If you go back to our app details under products, you can see scopes. Click on scopes, and these are the scopes that you are allowed to request on behalf of the user as long as they say approved over here on the right hand side. So we have user info and we have video. For this one we're just going to do the user info. So let's get rid of the video. Uh, we don't have all those yet. So now our scopes we're requesting is just user info. Then we create our authorization URL which is where the SDK will return the actual string that we're going to place inside of the href as you see right here. Now we're going to delete this echo statement that's just for documentation purposes and now our authentication URL is echoed out down here on our button. So now when we click on our button, it's going to take us to TikTok with all of the correct parameters as they were laid out over here in the login kit web documentation. It'll have our client key scope, redirect theory, and all this good stuff. So refreshing our TikTok API index.php, hover over the button. Now it's not an empty string. Oh, let's actually inspect this so you guys can see what's going on here. Inspector the button. Let's see what's going on here in the href. So the href around our button you see has the base URL version 2 auth authorize uh, and then it has all the parameters tacked on just like the documentation requires. So now let's go ahead and click on it and see what happens. It should take us to TikTok authorization dialog. There it is. Look at that. Bubbles dev app. That's the app we created. Wants to access your TikTok account. It's going to show you the user that's trying to authorize and then the app that they're authorizing with. And then it will list out all the scopes right here. So we have requested three scopes. They're going to be listed out right here. And I'm going to say continue. If I click continue, it's going to redirect me back to the login page. Now our login.php file has a code to exchange for an access token. So what's happening here is the code is up here in the URL. You see code equals and then this long code that has came back when TikTok redirected the user from the login dialog to our redirect URI. We've got the code and then what we've done is we have created a login.php file and we have a check for the code coming through the URL. So our authorization code is checking for a code in our get variables. If we have a code, we're going to pretty much do the same thing. We're going to instantiate a new authentication class. Again, we have our client key, our client secret, and if we have a code in the URL, because you don't want to do this if we don't have a code or it's not going to give us an access token. If we have a code, we're calling our authentication get access token from code. And what we pass along to this function is the authorization code, which is the code from TikTok in the URL. And we have to also specify our redirect URI again. If all goes well, user token will return. And down here in our HTML, you see we have is authorization code, exchanging code for access token. And then we'll print out the response we got from TikTok. What does that look like? Well, here we go. We got our user access token response and we have an access token. This is the access token right here that we're going to copy and we're going to paste into our defines so we can use it with some other endpoints. Let's hop back to our defines file here and update our user access token right here. Just like that. So after we have got our access token, which we have just saved in our defines, we're going to go ahead and look at the refresh token. So basically the refresh token 
will refresh the current access token because that token will expire within 24 hours. But it can be refreshed, so you don't have to have the user authenticate with your app every 24 hours. And to do that, uh, we need a key, a secret, the grant type this time has to be refresh token, and then we're going to pass along the user's refresh token. So now I have created a separate file, access tokens, where we're just going to go over some of the other access token functionality. We don't really need a pretty UI for that. So we're going to do our refresh token. Let's hop back to our wiki on our GitHub, uh, user access token. We've just gotten the token from our code, and we saved that to our define. So we're going to go ahead and look at the next endpoint, which is a refresh TikTok access token. Copy that. And we're going to paste that over here in our access tokens.php file. And just like our other files, we'll need our requires up at the top, defines and TikTok. And here's where we're going to specify our client key, client secret. And along with the access token for the user, we also are going to look at the refresh token. And this is what we need to pass along to the refresh token endpoint. Over to our defines file and also save the user's refresh token. We're going to pass in our refresh token to our get refresh access token endpoint. And when we go to access tokens.php, we run that and our access token has been refreshed. After that, we have our revoke access token. This is basically saying that the user wants to disconnect the application from TikTok. They don't want bubbles uh, to access their user information anymore. So we're going to go ahead and revoke that token. And this endpoint takes in, again, the key and the secret and the access token that you want to revoke. Again, back to our wiki for the SDK. Scrolling down a little more, here we have the revoke access token. So we're going to go ahead and copy that code and we're going to replace our refresh token with our revoke token. So we're going to get our client key again, our client secret. And then all we have to do is specify the user's access token we want to revoke. Revoke token, authentication, revoke access token, and then their token you want to revoke. Uh, the API docs, response. If the request is successful, the response struct will be empty. All right. Otherwise, we'll get an error back. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of our revoke token and look at the client key. So you click on client access tokens management, and this will give us a client access token, which uh, does not require user authorization because this is just used by clients to access resources about uh, their own TikTok application. Uh, so you don't need user authorization for that. And here we specify a client key, a secret, and a grant type of client credentials, which the SDK will take care of adding on for you uh, as long as you call the get client access tokens function. So we're going to copy those lines there, paste them there, and our authentication is set up just like it's always been set up, client key secret. Uh, we're calling the get client access tokens, and so let's dump out the response, and let's dump out the actual client token that we get back. And so refreshing our page, we get a new client access token. There it is. We can tell because it's a CLT dot. Uh, that means it's a client token. And that covers all of the different endpoints for the login kit and the access tokens. Now, one thing to note here is if we go back to our index.php file here um, and we do continue with TikTok, you'll notice that we didn't get the pop-up anymore that said, hey, do you want to authorize this app? And that is because I have already authorized this app, so it will just automatically redirect me to the redirect URI, and it will pass along a code. So once the user is authorized, they don't need to always click continue next when they're logging in with TikTok. It will just automatically recognize that they've authorized the app and send them to your redirect URI. Now, if the user wants to revoke access to the app, they can do that manually by using their phone and going to their TikTok app. Pull up the TikTok app, uh, you go to settings and privacy, click on security, and then under security, there is a manage app permissions. So here I see the Bubbles app is under my app permissions. I'm going to go ahead and click remove access. Yes, I want to remove access. And now it is gone. Now when I click on continue with TikTok, it won't automatically uh, redirect to the redirect URI because I have revoked access. So it's going to ask me to authenticate again. There it is. It's asking me if uh, I want to allow Bubbles to access my account information. And if I do, I can click continue. It will redirect me back and I will get a new access token, which now I can use again. And the Bubbles dev app has appeared back in my manage app permissions on my TikTok app. And that's going to wrap up our TikTok API login 
access tokens. We covered a lot in this video. We went over how to set up a continue with TikTok button on your website. Send the user to TikTok login dialog. When the user authorizes with TikTok, they are sent back to your redirect theory where we authenticate them by exchanging the code we get for an access token. And then we went over how to refresh that access token, how to revoke that access token. We went over how to get a client access token. And we also went over if the user manually deletes the app from their app permissions, they just need to re-authenticate and approve your app again and you'll just get a new access token and all is good. I hope you guys learned something from this video. I am so happy that TikTok finally approved my app for live in production so I can keep making videos. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment down below and let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.